Welcome to Prince to Polka Dots and our presentation of Riley Blake and Melly and Me's Snug as a Bug collection. We love Riley Blake, we're crazy about Melly and Me, so this collection is something quite special. If you like what you see in terms of the patterns and the shapes and the colours, it's worth checking out the Melly and Me pattern, sewing patterns on our website. They've got them for bags and toys and all sorts of homewares and they're great. If you, if you like what you see, you'll love their patterns, it's well worth a look. Even if you don't buy one, they might inspire you to come up with your own creation. So, on with the fabrics. We'll start with the spiderweb fabric. This is the blue version. Okay, try and get that up there for you. There we go. It's got no spiders on it, just the webs, so no need to be scared. We also have it in yellow. And in green. Like all good collections, this works with one colour palette, which means every print coordinates with every other print. It's just a matter of making the combination you like. If you're not very confident at making up your own combinations and you don't want to buy the whole set, have a look at our bundle section on our website where you'll find photographed sets that we've made up coordinating different ones, different colours. You can buy sets of two fabrics up to five, six fabrics up to the full collection in bundles. Saves you putting every individual thing in the basket and it allows you to see them actually shown next to each other in an image. Okay, this one is the small flower print and it is a little pink dot surrounded by a white flower surrounded by blue but it can look at a distance a bit like a hexagon, mini hexagon. This would be great in any scheme using the other fabrics or not because it's, it's more or less a geometric. So it's great coordinator. We also have it in green. There we go, it's very hard to show you the colours but I'm trying my best. This is a pink centre with green outside and finally for these ones in pink on pink. Let's move those out of the way. Next we have what they call the main print, it's sort of a floral print but it's a bit more going on than just flowers. There's little spider webs, little bugs, little butterflies, little caterpillars, everything fun in the garden. So that's the cream version. We also have it in what I would describe as a dusty, dusty pink. When you look on our website, you'll wonder whether it even is pink. It looks quite white on the pictures. It is pink, definitely pink. There we go. But it's, uh, it's a light pink. I don't know, you may or may not be able to tell there on the camera next to the white, you should be able to see the, the contrast. You're looking for something bolder, more of a primary colour. Babies love primary colours. We have it also in sunny yellow. Just move those on. Next we have the bubble or the dot print. Again, uses all the colours in the colour palette and the dots have, some of the dots have little butterflies in the centre. That's the cream version. We also have the, the pink version. There we go. The final fabric on a bolt to show you from this collection is the snail print. This is quite hard to show on camera but I will do my best. It's made up, there we go, I think that does it, of lots and lots of little snails, look like they're racing to work and uh, again using all the colours in the palette and that's on a, a white, an off-white or cream background. Because Melly and me are so famous for their sewing patterns, they've also created a panel that you can buy. If you're new to panels, I think they're not so big in England as they are in the US, a panel is a piece of fabric with everything on it you need to create the object. It might be a panel that's the front of a quilt 
or it might be a panel for a doll or in this case for a little bug. There's the bug. You can see the finished bug on our website. Makes a lovely little toy for the nursery. On the panel you get all the pieces printed in the right colours, coordinating colours. You even get the face already printed. And then on the other half of the fabric you get all the instructions. To complete one of these bugs all you need is one of these fabric panels plus some stuffing and some fusible web. When you go onto our website you can buy all those items with the panel or just buy the panel on its own. Uh, just want to make it easy for you to get what you need in one place without having to run all over the shop looking for different things. So that's the pink version. This is the blue version. And finally there is an orange which we may have called yellow on our website, I do apologise, but really it's orange. There we go. Great way to get a pattern. If you're canny like me, you'll cut out your pieces and then use the pieces to make little cardboard templates so that you can reuse the pattern in future with other fabrics in your stash. But even if you just cut it out and make it, or perhaps put it in a parcel for a young sewer for Christmas, that would just be a fab way to start your sewing. So, if those don't, don't inspire, we also have some free patterns on our blog. That's prints2polkadots.co.uk slash blog. Uh, we've got a bit mad with this snug as a bug. And uh, this first set I want to show you is actually the first thing I ever sewed when I got back into sewing as an adult. It's a very simple pattern, it's great for a starter and it's just such a wonderful way to make a gift that feels so special for a new mum. If, if you know the baby's name, if their baby's arrived or you've told you in advance, you can even put the name across the top or just even the word baby and you can do that using uh, our heat and bond adhesive so you don't even have to sew it on if you're new to sewing and you're a bit worried about doing applique. So this is a hooded towel, it's sort of a square shape, we've rounded the corners off, we bought a towel from our local supermarket and then we've attached, the, attached a hood and it makes a great snuggy little towel for in the bathroom or on holiday, looks great hanging up in the bathroom and then using the leftover piece of towel, we don't like waste we've created a dribble cloth we've just taken a piece we've used a cup or a plate to mark around the edges to soften them then we've created some bias tape the instructions are on the website and out of, out of the same fabric the leftover fabric and trimmed it in that and that makes a great dribble cloth for when they're out and about and being able to present them as a pair just just sort of elevates both of the items to looking even more special and all we've done there is tied it with a piece of scalloped ribbon this one is from Fancy Pants again available on the website so want to download the pattern for that please visit our web our blog if you're looking for something a bit more challenging how about our cuddly caterpillar there you go Please excuse the faces, they were made, the faces were made in a bit of a rush and I hope you can appreciate when you're designing a pattern you have to make them so many times to get the pattern right. By the time you get to the finished article you can't bear the idea of sewing another eye perfectly so I do apologise. Anyway, this one was made for my niece who's having a baby very soon and we've used uh, coordinating fabrics from the Snuggers Bug range and uh, created a lovely head with antennae. You can buy this as a kit on our website it's £6.50 and for £6.50 you get the pattern printed out and all the pieces of fabric you need you can add stuffing to that and you can add the embroidery thread for the eyes and the mouth to that as well if you wish so it's a great way to buy for less than the price of a regular pattern everything you need ready cut up so that you just need to trace the shapes on and uh, and go no no big bag of wasted fabric at the end of it because you've had to buy in fat quarters. So you can buy that as a kit, you can buy it either in this colour or this colour or you can make your own caterpillar by selecting your own pattern for each of the balls and the face or you can just go to the blog and download the pattern and use your stash. Use your stash, make your own unique caterpillar because we think he's great and we think he'd look great in any nursery. 
So that's goodbye from me and goodbye from our caterpillar. I hope you enjoyed that presentation. Do visit us at prince2polkadots.co.uk or visit our blog for the patterns and the downloads and for lots of other fun ideas and makes.